plus size luxury and today I have a double unboxing so let's jump right into the first clip Okay, welcome back. So I got this uh, Louis Vuitton mini pochette from The Real Real. Uh, this is from the 2014 uh, Christmas Animation Collection. Um, if you watch my last video, I think you'll see that um, I had sold my mini pochette that I had in the monogram, the original monogram print, because I felt like it was a bit redundant in my collection because I already had the mono and my pochette accessories. And when I wanted that pop of monogram, I was just reaching for that. So I was looking for a mini pochette that was different enough that I felt like it might accentuate different parts of my outfit or just a different vibe, basically. So I saw this and I love all of the Christmas animation collections. If you don't know, every year Louis Vuitton comes out with a animated print that they screen print across um, some of their designs. So either on the mono monogram the dummier bean and the dummier zur and then they do like special color interior sometimes uh usually the leather on the tab here is treated so it's not that vachetta because that was one of my other concerns with the original one it had vachetta and you have to worry about like you know water spots and a patinaing and like aging the bag prematurely so um, I'm excited. This has like these little striped patterns on the side. This uh, leather pull tab is really cool and unique for this uh, holiday collection. I couldn't get the detail in the video, but there's like a little button on the pull tab and it has Louis Vuitton on there. So just really extra cute details. Smooth zipper. Uh, interior looks brand new. I just have <laughs> a lip balm in there right now actually, but this is in excellent shape. I feel like the person didn't really even use it. So uh, this was a steal for me. I bought it for around $500. So um, right now I believe the mini pochette goes for around $795 or $785. Uh, is it worth it at that price? I don't think so. But um, like I said before, I think every Louis Vuitton lover needs at least one in their collection and I am super happy that I now have this. So yay! I did want to mention, so I bought this uh, from The Real Real, and this is the t first time I've ever purchased something and had it shipped to my home instead of picking it up at my store here in Atlanta. And it came in this sort of eco-friendly dust bag. It says remove the string to recycle. Uh, so I thought that was pretty cool, but it is a terrible quality dust bag it feels like paper so um, I prefer the dust bags that come with fashion file because I use them for when I'm traveling if I want to pack my shoes or have like a little pouch for like um, just miscellaneous items I feel I get more use out of those but if you're into sort of biodegradable stuff or um, things that if you don't really use like your dust bags when you buy from these kind of places then this is just something pretty unique and I thought I would point it out to you guys so let's jump into the next unboxing. Okay, welcome back. So I purchased this bum bag or crossbody from Longchamp. I really wanted to get this particular item um, on launch day, but it sold out super quickly. This is from their recent replay line. So I think the concept behind this is that 
they're taking either off cuts or scraps and putting this uh, design together. So that's why it's sort of sort of like a hodgepodge of different uh, nylon off cuts, I think from their Le Poulage line. And yeah, I just think it's really, really beautiful. I got it in the red and beige combination. The flap right here is in a deep burgundy aubergine color. It looks black in person, I'll be honest. And so are the little tabs. And then this is, I believe, a canvas type strap. And then the buckle here is uh, just plastic. So um, it does have its signature gold hardware, which I love this little zipper pull. The button right here, is that it? Yep. Mm -hmm. And the inside, which I think I have a video uh, of the details, but inside it's just a large empty you know, compartment and then a slip part um, compartment in the back. And I think it was $85. I got this from Nordstrom actually, cause it was sold off the website and it just has sort of a textile instruction booklet. So those two things there. So the reason I got this particular bum bag or crossbody, I consider my style sort of girly and I was worried that this might be too edgy of a style for me, but I've always been intrigued. So I thought this would be a nice safe bet to try out. I also just love the concept of the collection and I thought it was super fun. Uh, these colors I think will go really nicely into fall and yeah, so it just is a good test run um, If I wanted to get maybe a Chanel bung bag in the future Would I actually use it? Is it functional for me? And uh, just for my sort of plus-size frame will it even work? Thankfully this one is fully adjustable and I'll do a quick mod shot for you guys So here's a quick mod shot for you guys. It feels pretty comfortable I don't have anything in it obviously so I have to test it out as I said It's fully adjustable and I have it on its longest strap um, This right here is how you open and close it and yeah um, again, I'm size 16, 18 on top. I have a bit of uh, broader shoulders, a larger bust line because I'm apple shape. So just keep that in mind. But I think it will fit um, a number of different body types and body shapes, heights, because of its adjustability. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Um, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time. Bye.